keep it out of the grout lines. No, you want to go right into the grout lines with it. Brush this brush a little bit. Stiff? Yeah. I might want to. Let's go with that. Yeah, this is much better. So, what I'll normally do is I'll coat the plank to begin with 100%. Yeah, you could you could spray it, but you'll have you'll have a much better realistic look with a um, with a brush texture. Yeah. A lot of times after I get my plank coated like this, I might run my brush this way through it, like long ways. And whenever I deposit a little bit of stain like this, wherever it's puddled, it's leaving like a little darker. bit of a darker grout, right. you know, uh, wood plank line. I don't care if I did a little bit of splatter here; just a slight bit is not bad. Again, this is barn wood. Now, if I pull it tighter, I'm going to get a, a much lighter looking plank. Like right here, if I just keep it nice and tight, my, my coloring is going to be lighter. You can see how light that's going to be. But we've got a knot in this plank, so I'll show you how we address the knots. You know, this is why you're here. You're, you're, you know, it's costing more for your client because, you know, this is this is hand designed, hand textured, and hand stained. So normally on a knot, we'll take some of the, the stain on the corner of the brush right. and just do that. And so as it sits there in puddles, that's going to be the real dark spot. And if you put a little texture in there, it will flow a little bit, you know, one way or the other and darken it up nicely for you. A lot of times what I'll do is I might do, with this classic stain, I might do... Let's say 80% of the floor with this color. Then I might make it up, not that four to one mix, I might make it up, you know, let's say six parts water, one part concentrate. That's, and if I put it down like that with more water, that's going to be a lighter looking plank. So I can do that, let's say if I did 80% with this stain, I could do, you know, 20 or 10% with that color. And then for my final color, I could mix this up maybe heavier. I might mix it up three parts water, one part concentrate, and actually apply it heavier. You see how heavy I'm applying it right here? That's going to be a much darker looking plank. So you have slight, the best thing to do is to have a slight variation between planks, between light planks and dark planks. And as you look across the floor, that slight variation makes it look really nice. And you can see the, the nail holes that we dug in there with the, the pail opener. That kind of darkens up and gives you gives you that rustic. Now of course if you're gonna if you're gonna do that um, nail hole make you know it's gonna take you a little extra time. You might want to you know charge accordingly if, if that's what you want. No. So what are you gonna show us how to make concrete look like wood? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I didn't, I, we know how to make wood look like wood. <laughs> yeah, that's the funny thing when people actually. Yeah, that's what it looks like wood. Fucking crazy. I can't get it all. Who wants to brush this one? Anybody want to brush that one? 